Mark your calendar for Friday, March 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. for the Fairfield Christian Academy Night of Excellence 2012. This year's speaker is former Ohio State linebacker Anthony Schlegel, along with a special performance by the OSU Alumni Band. Tickets are available at the FCA Elementary Office and Door B or online at www.fcaab.org. Again, that is March 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. featuring Anthony Schlegel at Fairfield Christian Academy. Fairfield Media Productions is proud to present FCA on LSN and FMP Sports on FairfieldMedia.tv. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740-687-1077. Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Fairfield Mini Storage is located on East Main Street in Lancaster. We'll find them online at ffministorage.com. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster in Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Let Matt Gray motivate you or your group for change. You can visit him online at macspeaking.com. In Focus Consulting, the data agency, online at infocusconsulting.com. Fairfield Christian Church, located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster, online at fairfieldcc.com. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, respect for tradition, regard for change, available online at funeralhome.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. You can visit them online at redeemerlancaster.org. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Hi, I'm Doug Smith from Fairfield Christian Academy. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Today we're here with Rob Bowler, Athletic Director here at Fairfield Christian Academy. Thanks for being here, Mr. Bowler. I'm glad to be here. Um, well, the Lady Knights tonight play the Newark Catholic Green Wave. What did it take for the Lady Knights to get here to the championship game tonight? Well, you know, first of all, Doug, it's, it's, uh, I said I was glad to be here when you, when you introduced me. And the reason I am is because it means we're still playing. It means the season's still going on. What did it take for them to get here? Well, they're, they're 16 and 6. The girls' high school varsity team is. They have won two tournament games to this point. So they won the sectional championship um, the other night against Wellington. And then they defeated Danville uh, a couple days ago to, to be in this position, the district final. It's the first district final that FCA has a basketball team you know, in. So they've, they've achieved a lot, the girls have. What did it take? Well, specifically, it took a lot of really good coaching by Coach DeWeese. It took a lot of uh, determination uh, on the girls' part. They made 22 out of 26 free throws against Danville, Caddy. DeWeese, who was the district player of the year this year and our league player of the year in, in our league, MoCal, made 13 out of 15 free throws, including four in a row in the last minute of the game. So I think it took our girls playing the best game of the season so far. Um, well, tonight, what are the keys to victory to beating this Newark Catholic team? Well, you know, they, they are a really good team, and I'm sure our, our viewers know Newark Catholic, when you think Newark Catholic, whether you're talking about baseball, softball, basketball, girls or boys, it doesn't matter. They're, they're really, uh, really excellent in everything they do in all their sports. So, you know, Newark Catholic is 21 and one. Uh, they are second in the state of Ohio. They've been ranked in the top 10 in the state all year. Uh, they have obviously, as I said, a great tradition. So it'll take an even better game than we played against Danville. We won't be able to turn the ball over. 
Uh, we're going to have to be able to rebound against girls that are a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Uh, we're just going to have to do everything just right tonight. All those fundamental things that coaches talk about, we're going to have to do all those tonight. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Bowler, and thank you for the viewers watching out there on FCI and LSN. Tip-off between the Lady Knights and the Green Wave next. Service Master Clean by Todd George. Cleaning and disaster restoration for all of Fairfield County. 740-687-1077. Are you ready for spring? I'm Tracy Schaefer with Upward Sports at Fairfield Christian Church. We would love to have your kids ages four years through sixth grade join us this spring to play soccer. Join us in making new friends and learning about Jesus Christ through Upward Sports, now registering through March 9th. Please visit www.fairfieldcc.com or call 740-654-0099 for more information. Let's kick into spring with Upward Soccer. Lakewood High School outside of Hebron, Ohio. It's Division Four District semi-final action here as the Fairfield Christian Academy Lady Knights take on the third ranked in the state, York Catholic Green Wave. Hi again, everybody. Jack Davis along with Jared Camp of the FCA media team. Tonight, the FCA and LSN Game of the Week brought to you in part by Service Master Clean by Todd George to help you get clean and stay that way at work, at home, when they demonstrate their commitment to excellence and their promise to do the job right or do it over. Service Master Clean by Todd George can be contacted at 740-687-1077. We thank Todd George for supporting FCA Sports on LSN. Tonight's starting lineups. Here's Jared with the um, starting lineups for both teams. Tonight for FCA, we have Kirsten Deweese, Megan Austin, Katie Lehman, Emily Sullivan, and Leah Custer. And now for Newark Catholic, we have number 12, Tia Brown, number 23, Lauren Blair, number 25, Jill Blackster, number 30, Caroline Wallenberg, and number 54, Aaron Sims. Tonight's starting lineup brought to you in part by Weaver Law Offices, dedicated to serving all of Central Ohio with competent, qualified, and timely legal assistance at reasonable rates. Roger Weaver is a name you know, experience you can trust. Weaver Law Offices can be contacted at 614-834-1750 or online at weaver-law.com. We thank our good friend Roger Weaver for supporting us. Fairfield Media Production Sports, otherwise known in the biz as FMP. Be a tough game for the uh, Lady Knights tonight, won't it, Jared? That's right. The uh, Newark Catholic comes in at 22 and one on the season, as you mentioned, third in the state. So uh, you're right, a big, big challenge tonight. They got here by beating Burn Union in the district semifinal game earlier this week. Uh, beat them by a score of 53-28. They're known for playing a uh, tough man-to-man -man defense, but also they threw a 3-2 zone at them, didn't they? That's right. Uh, Lauren Blair, a senior guard for New York Catholic, had a single game record, nine steals in their last game against Burn Union. And what she does in that zone, she comes up from behind and just surprises the the ball handler. So, I mean, I thought you were going to say, gonna say surprises the bejeebers out of them. She probably that, does that too, too right? <laughs> But, uh, you know, Knights need to make sure they know where Blair is at at all times while they're on the offense. And need, they need to hit the outside shot and uh, keep up with Newark Catholic in the first quarter because they've been known to blow teams out in the first, first quarter. 
And the Newark Catholic coached by Rob Smith, 22 and one this year. They were 11 and 11 last year, so they doubled up on their win total. And right. like, like you said, they're third ranked in the state, first in the district. This will be a tough matchup for the Lady Knights, coached by Dave DeWee, 16 and six. They beat Danville in their last game. Why don't you talk a little bit about that game? Well, Danville came out with a surprising victory against uh, a Tree of Life. They were they played after our game, and uh, a lot of the points that FCA got against Danville was from the free throw line. Not a strong performance offensively, but they did a good job of hitting their free throws, and that's going to have to happen tonight too. But they're going to need a little more offensive production from Kirsten Deweese and Megan Austin. Both teams' benches are being introduced now. The winner of this game will go on to the regional semifinals at Pickerington North next week. And we'll be there if FCA goes on. Of course, the boys lost to Wellington, Wellington this past week in their, um, I guess it would be a sectional final game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and Wellington's a, a tough ball club. Absolutely. That's who the girls played in their uh, first tournament game. And Wellington surprised them. They only had seven players healthy on their roster, but um, the Knights were able to come out with a victory. What's interesting is we watched Newark Catholic and FCA being introduced. Uh, Newark Catholic has a size advantage. Absolutely. And, and that's, that's the key for Newark Catholic when you play a 3-2 zone. Much like you know, the Millersport, Millersport boys, they play a 1-3-1 one, one zone. They're known for that. Uh, we saw against Ohio State Northwestern in the men's basketball action earlier this week play a 1-3-1 one, 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 one zone against Ohio State. Uh, gave the, the offense uh, difficulties. This Newark team has length and it's going to be difficult for the point guard to pass the ball to the corner or on the wing because of the length of the Newark Catholic. So it's going to behoove uh, the Lady Knights to, if they have an outside shot, to hit the outside shot. And Coach Dewey said it's going to be imperative that they hang with Newark Catholic for the first quarter because they're normally blowing out teams right. at the end of one quarter of play. Their only loss was to Whitehall. Yeah, lost to by them 10 points. by 10 points. So, York Catholic sends out Tia Brown, Lauren Blair, Joe Blackston, Carolyn Wollenberg, and Aaron Sims. For FCA, it is Leah Custer, Katie Lehman, Megan Austin, Kirsten DeWeese, and Emily Sullivan. Layup missed by Blair. Rebound to guess who? DeWeese. Custer in the corner, knocked away by Brown. With FCA. And DeWeese is the person that Newark Catholic is going to have to stop. There's a tip ball, Brown comes down with it. And she's quick. I was about to say, that they're a quick ball club. Ball That's goes inside the Sims, puts it up, no good, rebound to DeWeese. Yeah, even though the shot didn't go in, that was great ball movement there by the Irish. Looks like the whole team is quick. And you see Brown playing in the uh, the middle of that 3-2 zone. She's the girl that will sneak up behind a player to double team and get the steal. Custer loses the ball. Well, Blair with the steal, but it's off FCA out of bounds. Newark Catholic ball. Tonight's officials, Malt Brown, Scott Hamilton, and Bud Tremaine. Brown with the basketball. Blair to Sims. Blair in the corner, fires a three. No good, rebound Emily Sullivan. Austin comes down with it, kicks it up to Custer. Custer gets bumped and a foul. Foul on Brown, her first team first. It's interesting, you look at the program, Jared. Look at this, for Newark Catholic, seven seniors, three juniors, one freshman, one sophomore. They are a senior-laden team. Austin, 
Knights have, I believe, four, four seniors. Four seniors, and a couple of their uh, freshmen really step up for them big. Blocked. Rebound to Deweese, and it looks like Brown gets called for foul again. 6.39 to go first quarter, no score. And that's Tia Brown, her second. And that's big. No score. Almost a minute and a half into this first quarter. Luis with the first point. The Knights went 20 from 26. 20 for 26 from the foul line in their last victories. Luis gives FCA a 2-0 lead. Brown with the basketball. Goes left side to Wollenberg. Cross court to Blair. Back to Wollenberg into the corner. Puts it up, no good. Tip, rebound to Wollenberg. Puts it up and she's fouled by Megan Austin. Megan, Megan, Megan's Meg first, team's first. Tell you, the FCA student body and parents and fan base really turned out for this game tonight. Wollenberg hits the first. You want to do the counting tonight? For, uh, uh, you can. <laughs> uh, I think that the players are too quick for me to count yeah. and call a game at the same time. There's Wollenberg with her second. Well, if we get some time, we might we can count. Austin with the basketball to Custer. Two guard front for FCA. Layman to DeWeese, kicks it out to Custer. She'll take the shot. Good! Yeah. Three-point field goal for Leah Custer. 5-2 FCA, two minutes into the first quarter. Blair, cross court to Wallenberg, nice cuts the basket up and in. Four points for Wallenberg. Austin across the timeline to Custer. 3-2 zone for Newark Catholic. It looks like FCA is kind of playing the 2-3 off offensive set with Kirsten DeWeese in the middle. So Custer. The well, ball goes out of bounds, Newark Catholic's way. Brown across the timeline. Wollenberg into the lane, tripped up, and a foul. Oh, a travel call. Oh, all right. Thought that was a foul. You don't that, normally do yeah, that by yourself. Exactly. 5.15 to go first quarter. 5-4 the score. FCA up by one. Custer to Austin. Luis gets tripped up, no call. Brown comes up limping. Austin to Sullivan. Loses it, and Brown comes up with the steal. Ball goes inside to Jill Blackston, and she travels with the basketball. Second straight possession with a travel call for Newark Catholic. Four thirty to go, first quarter. Bounce pass, no kick call on that. Timeout, FCA. Timeout on the floor, four twenty to go, first quarter. FCA leads Newark Catholic five four on LSN. This first quarter action of FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by Thompson Concrete a full-service company offering commercial, residential, decorative, excavation, and foundation services with the ability to handle every detail of large, complex concrete projects. Thompson Concrete is located in Carroll, Ohio, and can be reached at 740-756-7256 or online at thompsonconcrete.com. Len Witch in the wardrobe comes to FCA. 
March 16th and 17th, performance at 7 p.m. Students are $5, adults eight. For a family, it costs 20. Children under three, free. Two weeks from tonight. Austin inbounds to Custer, back to Austin. We're underway here in the first quarter. One point lead for FCA and they are going to dribble the basketball and try to draw Newark Catholic out a little bit. Custer to Austin. Let's see if they're gonna try to draw them out of this zone. Sullivan, bounce pass into DeWeese, kicks it out to Austin, fires a three, no good. Rebound to Blair. It was good ball movement by the Knights, good job. Sims with a three, back of the rim, no good. Rebound loose, off Newark Catholics, Blair out of bounds, FCA's ball. 3.42 to go. So far so good, hanging with them. Absolutely. I think Coach Luis has to be pleased. Like we said before, Newark Catholic usually blows teams out in the first quarter and then just extend their lead the rest of the game, but Knights doing a good job. Katie Lehman back to Megan Austin. Cross court to Emily Sullivan. Custer to Austin, loses it, out of bounds, Newark Catholic's ball. Blair inbounds to Brown. Wollenberg on the wing. Tipped away, knocked down is Brown by Sullivan, no call. Coach Smith is up in arms. Stolen by Custer, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Custer drives, puts it up, and in! Nice job. Yeah, Custer, great spin move down the low block. 2.48 to go. 7-4, FCA up. Blair with a three. No good rebound to East. It's Kirsten's third rebound of the night. Sullivan. Knocked away by Blair. Blair blows by Custer, Coach Smith for Newark Catholic, asking for the foul, no call, in comes Rochelle Pedro for FCA. Pedro in, Emily Sullivan sits down. Coach DeWeese tells Emily, good job. Pats her on the head. Sims with a three, back of the rim no good. Loose ball off Katie Lehman out of bounds. Newark Catholic's ball. Look at Newark Catholic, they got seniors on the bench to come off and um, contribute FCA. Their first person off the bench is a freshman. Shows you the, the depth and the experience of Newark Catholic. Wollenberg to Brown. Blair. Blackston, turnaround jumper, good. Jill Blackston, her first two. 7-6, one point lead for FCA with 1.48 to go. Tedro, the Custer, good ball movement by FCA, knocked away, DeWeese knocked down, Sims, long pass up to Blair. She drives, puts it up, no good, rebound, up and in by Blackston. Coach Smith is beside himself. Blackston with four. First lead for, F, for uh, Newark Catholic. Smith in the, air of the, in, in the ear of the official. Kick, there's a call. Emily Sullivan comes in now for FCA. As does Haley Wagner for Newark Catholic. Wagner in, Brown out. Wagner's a senior. Original starting five now in for FCA. No, to check that. Sullivan came in for Katie Lehman. Bounce pass stolen by Blair. 60 seconds to go here, first quarter. One point lead for Newark Catholic. Ball goes into Blackston, low post. Good ball movement, Blair measures a three. Lauren 
Blair her first three, 44 seconds to go. First four point lead now for Newark Catholic. Custer drives, stops and pops. Nope, rebound loose. Taken away by Wollenberg. Wagner with the basketball, 24 seconds to go. Like Newark Catholic will hold for one shot. Wagner. Ten seconds. Inside pass missed. Here comes DeWeese looking for an opening. She's gonna stop. She'll pop. No good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Timeout on the floor. One period in the books. Newark Catholic leads FCA 11-7 on LSN. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by Thompson Concrete, a full service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Service Master Clean by Todd George. They are proud to be the only Green Seal certified janitorial service in Central Ohio and promise to do the job right or do it over. 740 687 1077. Let Matt Gray motivate you or your group for change. You can visit him online at macspeaking.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Second quarter action of FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster stores for Penske truck rentals. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street in Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. Turnover gives the ball back to Newark Catholic, 7.47 to go here first quarter. Jack Davis along with Jared Camp. Little adjustment by Coach DeWeese there at the quarter break, putting Kirsten DeWeese on the wing. Moving Rochelle Tedrow into the high post. See if that stays for um, the rest of the quarter. Sims goes inside, Wollenberg knocked away by DeWeese. Stays down at North Catholic's end. Two team fouls for North Catholic, one for FCA. Sims. Blackston, Wagner back to Sims. Blair measures a three, that's off left, and Emily Sullivan comes down with a rebound. She gets bumped by Carolyn Wollenberg, and Carolyn Wollenberg goes into the books for a foul. Anthony Schlegel in the Ohio State Alumni Band come to the Fairfield Christian Academy. March 9th for the Night of Excellence. Tickets are $10 and $20, available at Fairfield Christian Academy, Door B, online at www.fcaab.org. DeWeese with the basketball to Tedro. Kicks it out to Austin, fires a three, good! The bank's open. You've been waiting all year to say that. I have, actually. Now, we got to train the uh, kids over at FCA because they're holding up the two sign for the two points, and that was a three ball, but that's okay. The math department is smiling. <laughs> Wollenberg stops and pops and hits. Carolyn Wollenberg with six. 13-10 the score. DeWeese now on the left wing. Bounce pass to her from Custer. Works into the corner, double teamed. Kicks it out to Custer. Goes to Sullivan. Tries to kick it out to Austin. Sullivan gets the ball back. Tedro fights for the ball to Deweese, and we got a travel call on Rochelle Tedro. Madison Doolittle coming in for FCA for Leah Custer. Another freshman. Kelly Clapper coming in for Newark Catholic for. Hallie Wagner. 
13-10 to score. We're two minutes in to the second quarter. Third ranked Newark Catholic in the white, FCA in the blue. Wallenberg drives baseline, shoots it, no good. Rebound Blackston, no good. Rebound again, Blackston puts it up, and no good. Deweese comes down with a rebound. Kirsten's fourth rebound of the night. Gives it to Megan Austin. Five and a half to go, first half. Stay tuned, halftime. We'll interview Jesse McCoy and Kenny Burcham as we honor our seniors on the FCA media team end. Austin gets bumped, puts a shot up, no good, rebound to Blackston. Kicks it out to Wollenberg. She tracks it down. And that's a backcourt violation, gives the ball back to FCA. 13-10 the score, 5 7 remaining in the second quarter. Doolittle and, Do -little and Austin are the guards. Custer coming back in the ball game, checking in, checking in at the scores table. Do little with the basketball. Bounce pass to Austin. Good ball movement by FCA. Ball goes out of bounds of the FCA's ball. Leah Custer comes in now. Custer in and Megan Austin sits down. Austin sits down with three. Custer is in with five. Part of Coach DeWeese's rotation here. Give the girls a breather. Pedro, nice pass. Doolittle up and in. Madison Doolittle, her first two. Great look by Kirsten DeWeese hitting the open man. One point lead for Newark Catholic. Wallenberg to Blair. Goes inside nice, nice. to Blackston. That was too easy. Blackston with six. 15-12 the score. 4-14 to go, first half. DeWeese now playing outside as a guard. To Custer. I mean, one of the keys, the kick goes to FCA's way. One of the keys, uh, Coach DeWeese said, Jared, about that uh, Danville game, is that the seniors played big down near the end of the game. They wanted the, the ball in Megan's hands and Kirsten's hand. They made great decisions. And here you see you know, the ball going to Kirsten, and she's, she's played, a, as usual, a good game. And uh, if he can keep the game close and put the ball in Kirsten's hands, this might be an interesting finish, you know? Absolutely. This is where your seniors have to play like seniors. Ball goes off the flare out of bounds. and get Megan Austin in the ball game. See, Tia Brown is not only quick, but so is uh, Lauren Blair for Newark Catholic. Now Blair is playing in the uh, middle of that 3-2 zone. Austin checked in for DeWeese. So we'll see how the Knights respond without Kirsten DeWeese in their lineup. Katie Lehman getting ready to check in. Tedro kicks it out to Austin. A three ball. No good. Rebound. Tedro gets it to Austin. Tipped by Blair. Austin puts it up. No good. And she's fouled. Good aggressive move by Megan to dribble to the open space, attack the basket, and then pull up for the jumper. Foul is on. Aaron Sims, that's her first, team's fourth. Austin line left, shooting two, first one, back to the rim, no good. Here comes Katie Lehman in. Emily Sullivan sits down. This is the farthest that any FCA girls team has, has gone in, in the tournament tonight, so you're witnessing history. Megan misses both. Lauren Blair comes across the timeline. And there have been some good FCA girls team in the past. Blair drives, no good. Rebound to Tedro, gets it to Austin. And now Kirsten DeWeese is going to be checking in back into the ball game. 
Doolittle into Tedro, kicks it out to Custer. Austin measures a three, no good. Rebound tipped by Tedro to Wollenberg. Three-point lead for Newark Catholic, 2.35 to go first half. Blair. Clapper to Blair. Sims to Blair. Blackston, Clapper, Blair. Blackston looks inside for Wollenberg. There's Clapper taking a three. Kelly Clapper, a senior, gets her first three. York Catholic with seven seniors on the team. Six point lead for Newark Catholic, under two minutes to go. Megan Austin. Custer to Austin. Doolittle kicks it out to Custer. Austin fires a three, no good. Doolittle tries to run it down. That'll break in the action. We'll get Kristen DeWeese in for Madison Doolittle. Doolittle sits down with two points. DeWeese in with two points, four rebounds. Sims to Clapper. Wollenberg, cross court to Blair. Blair with a long three, no good. Wollenberg with a rebound, puts it up and in. Good strong move by Caroline Wollenberg. She has eight. Eight point lead, Newark Catholic with 70 seconds to go, first half. Austin, DeWeese, Custer to Austin. Layman, one minute to go. Bounce pass, stolen. And we got a foul on FCA. Yeah, Rochelle, Rochelle Tedro, her first team second. Emily Sullivan coming in now for Katie Layman. 57.4 seconds to go, 20 to 12, Newark Catholic up by eight. It was 11-7 at the end of the first quarter in favor of Newark Catholic. Clapper to Blair, or excuse me, that's Wollenberg back to Clapper. They're looking for Blair. Wollenberg gets it and she'll fire a shot up and in. That's a two point shot for Carolyn Wollenberg. She's got 10, 10 point lead with 30 seconds to go. Deweese goes into the corner, double teamed. Gets bumped, no call. Custer to Austin. Sullivan in the corner. Tedro back to Austin. Sullivan fakes a shot, gets it to Tedro. Custer goes to Deweese. She'll fire a three, rims it no good. Sullivan battles for the ball and Wallenberg travels with the basketball and Coach Smith is livid. 6.6 6 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Last shot goes to the Knights. Austin, ball tipped by Clapper, has it, gets it to Sims with three seconds. Two, one, that's the end of the first quarter. 10 point lead for Newark Catholic at the half. They lead FCA 22-12 on LSN. Stay tuned for an interview with Jesse McCoy and Kenny Burchin. Halftime on LSN. Brought to you in part by... Fairfield Mini Storage is located on East Main Street in Lancaster. We'll find them online at ffministorage.com. In Focus Consulting, the data agency. Online at infocusconsulting.com. Redeemer Lutheran Church and Dr. Jack Davidson. Visit them online at RedeemerLancaster.org. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Available online at FuneralHome.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN.
again, everybody. Jack Davison with two seniors of the FCA media team, Jesse McCoy and Kenny Burcham. And now, Jesse, how long have you been with the media team? Oh, this is my first year taking media. Why did you get involved with media? Um, well, first reason, I needed uh, something to take this period. And, uh, and that's media, always a good reason. Right. Yeah. And uh, media has always been like the class to take, I guess. It, uh, you always hear how fun it is, so I decided to try it out this year. Okay. Kenny, how long have you been with the media team? Um, well, since I was born. Uh, well, <laughs> I've right. always been helping. It comes, my... comes by you naturally, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah my dad's always been the guy, so I've always been by his side. But um, I believe I joined this class junior year, so okay. two years, including this year. So, But I've always been involved. Yeah, you probably got a camera for Christmas right when you were uh, born, huh? Yep, my well, first handy cam. So, <laughs> Jesse, what have you done with the uh, uh, media team this year? Uh, I've gone on a couple of trips, uh, filmed uh, one or two football games. I've uh, gone to uh, the legislative update, just a couple of trips like that. And uh, those are always really fun. The bus rides are just the stuff you talk about is so fun. Kenny, how about you? What have you done the past couple of years? Uh, a lot of the same stuff um, Jesse was saying. Um, my favorites were always the, the Christmas concert the church puts on here. It's always a blast. Um, it's with church choir, school choir, everybody. I always get to run the jib arm. That's my favorite thing to do. But And you did some um, like color commentary last year for tournaments. Yeah, I, um, uh, me and Jared Camp usually do it. Um, I did it last year for Fisher Catholic, I think, and then in a couple of the girls' games. But Yeah, you were up at the fairgrounds in the booth in the barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Remember that. What's your favorite uh, memory of FCA? Uh, FCA. Uh, yeah, the media team specifically. Media team. Yeah. Uh, I think just class every day. We always have a blast. Like yesterday, we had a big debate. It was uh, just all the memories of just talking in class and hanging out with all the guys. And Kenny, I know. I know hanging out with your dad all the time is oh, probably yeah. the, one of the greatest things that you've had with this media team. But what? What else? What? What are one of some of the things that you've enjoyed with media team? Um, I'd probably have to say um, like. Pre game, or I guess pre shoot, like the butterflies in your stomach, you guess, just that memory. You like, I'll never forget just you know, before this, before filming a game or before filming a concert, just that, that buzz you get, like getting ready to just the, the anxiety. But I, I enjoy that feeling. So. Well, you know, they say, public speakers say, anytime you get butterflies before anything, it means that you're going to do a good job because you have that natural uh, anxiety and the, 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 the want to do well. Jesse, what do you plan on doing once uh, you graduate from FCA? Well, uh, I don't have any long-term plans set yet, but this summer I plan to uh, move out to L.A. and do an engineering internship. Outstanding. And uh, What kind of engineering? Civil engineering. All right. And uh, once I get back, I'm thinking I'm going to attend OUL, which is my first year, and then figure out what I want to do from there. Great. Kenny, how about you? What do you plan on doing once you graduate? Where are you going um, to school anywhere? My number one choice right now, I haven't decided anywhere, but it would be Asbury University um, for media communications. Just the whole, just from, just I guess the father's footsteps type deal, but it's just, that's, it's what I enjoy. Everything that I've experienced throughout this, this year and last year of media and just doing concerts and stuff, it's just that, that whole environment I enjoy. Do you enjoy it in front of the camera or behind the scenes? Um, I have to say behind the scenes. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm in the drama this year, first time too, for that too, but... It's just I enjoy the I, I enjoy being behind the camera. But what are you in the drama? Um, we're doing the uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, um, Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. I'm Mr. Beaver. So. Mr. Beaver. <laughs> yeah, it should be All fun. Right. We'll be calling you Mr. Beaver for the rest of your high school career. Yeah. If there's one thing, Jesse, that um, you'd like to take away and share with the uh, audience of why FCA is so important and uh, why they should support FCA, what would you say? Uh, I'd say it's just a great atmosphere. Uh, every like everyone is so nice. Everyone always seems to be in a good mood, uh, and we're all so like close knit. Like even just the students and teachers relationships. Like you can see them out and like say hi, and it's just not... a close family. Yeah, huh? exactly. Mr. Beaver, how about you? Um, I pretty similar. It's it's like yeah, seeing people at the grocery store, you can say hi to them, and like you know that they're your friend. You know, it's not like this like weird weird relationship between you and your teacher. If you if you need help, you go to them after school and they'll be like, yeah, you know, hey Kenny, you know, here you go and help me out. But it's just the the environment of 
everyone coming together. Like, it's small class sizes, so, I mean, you know everyone, you know everybody. So, I mean, if you, if you need help in your class, they can help you because everyone's such good friends. So. Well, good. Well, we wish you well in your future endeavors for Jesse McCoy and Mr. Beaver, also known as Kenny Burcham. It's Jack Davidson. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. The Frank E. Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Available online at funeralhome.com. Severe weather can destroy a home in seconds. There's no time to think, only time to act. Have a kit so you're ready for any emergency. Develop a plan for what you and your family will do before disaster strikes and stay informed during severe weather any way you can. It can be the difference between losing your possessions and losing your life. Just ask the owners of this house. Visit ready.gov for ways to prepare your family for emergencies. Back here at Lakewood High School. Halftime score, Newark Catholic 22, the FCA Lady Knights 12. Along with Jared Camp, this is Jack Davidson. FCA, one of 32 teams playing now tonight. They're in the final 32. After tonight, the field gets, down, gets cut down to the sweet 16. Newark Catholic led by a score of 11-7. And into the first quarter. Leading score for Newark Catholic here is uh, Carolyn Wollenberg with 10. Leah Custer leads FCA with five. See the 1969 banner for the football champs here at Lakewood High School. And we have a member of the championship team with us tonight. Class of 69, Coach Dobbs, Dave Dobmeyer. And there's see Rob Bowler, the athletic director. I think Co I think uh, athletic director Bowler was just wanted to give him the picture. He knew yeah, that Coach yeah. Dobbs was going to be on, right? Congratulations to Coach it. Dobbs on uh, that 69 championship. Blackston with a rebound. She's fouled inside. I believe that's on Megan Austin. No, Kirsten DeWeese. All right. That's the person's first, team's first. The team only had two fouls to, two fouls in the uh, first half. FCA's got its work cut out for it. Down by 10 to the third ranked team in the state. Blackston hits the second foul shot. She's got seven tonight. Austin Custer, DeWeese, Tedro, and Sullivan in for FCA. Stolen by Brown. Brown goes all the way, lays it up and in. Gia Brown with her first two. 25-12. You can tell we're on the Newark Catholic side. A little loud over here. Because remember that football game we did? They were pretty loud in the press oh, box was, too, weren't that they? Was ridiculous. That, that is going to go down as one of our favorite memories, huh? Not necessarily. No. <laughs> FCA stacks the offense to try to get the ball in. Ball goes into Emily Sullivan. Same starting five for Newark Catholic. Get Blair, Sims, Brown, Wollenberg, and Blackston. DeWeese on the outside gets it to Megan Austin. Blair shades over to DeWeese's side. Sullivan knocks the ball out of bounds off of Sims. The FCA's ball. How about that 69 championship team that Coach Dobbs was on? You look at this gym. It is just filled with banners of championship teams here at Lakewood. Stolen by Blair, puts it up, no good. Foul on Custer. Most of them have been baseball and softball. Uh, Lakewood was softball state champions 2008, 2009, and 2010. And baseball in 2005, 1994, and 90, 
93. Blair misses the first. They even have cheerleading champions up here on one of the banners. <laughs> 2001 that's BAC a cheerleading champions. Because that's a sport. That is. Blair splits the pair. She's got four. And we got a timeout FCA. 30 second timeout with 6.37 to go here in the third quarter. FCA down 26-12 to North Catholic. The third quarter action of FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by Ohio University, Lancaster, and Pickerington, where class sizes are small, so you'll get to know the faculty who cares about you and your success. Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University, Lancaster, and Pickerington, online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. I want to remind you, Fairfield Christian Academy enrolling now for the new school year. You can go online to www.fairfieldchristianacademy.com or call the school at 654-2889. FCA enrolling next year. Austin and Custer at the guards. Ted wrote the high post. Katie Lehman in the corner out to Megan Austin. Trying to look for Kirsten, and there she is but she is swarmed by Newark Catholic players once they, when she touches the ball. Ball goes off Lehman out of bounds. It'll be the Green Wave's basketball. Green Wave have done a good job of holding Kirsten DeWeese. She only has two points on the evening. And they've done a good job, you're right. She hasn't had many looks. No, she hasn't done a good job of containing her inside and an outside when she played as a guard. Shot up, missed, rebound to DeWeese. DeWeese with five rebounds tonight. De uh, Austin fires a three, rims it no good, Sims with a rebound. Brown with the basketball. Inside the Sims oh, puts it up and in. Aaron Sims with her first two, just a little, kind of a give and go, not even a pick and roll there. She just uh, kind of set, set a screen on uh, Rochelle and uh, just rolled to the basket and Rochelle was, I mean, she was left in the dust. Yep. It, was, it was a great play. There's Rochelle with the basketball. DeWeese double teamed and stolen by Blair. She drives, puts it up, foul on Tedro, basket score. Michelle Tedro is her second foul. Blair will go to the line. She has six points, look for the three point play the old fashioned way. We start to see the athleticism and the length of the green wave start to come into play here for uh, Newark Catholic. The quickness is unbelievable, too. This is, uh, it goes without saying, this is the best basketball team FCA has played no, no doubt about in, that. in my memory. Blair hits the three-point play. She's got seven. My daughter's played for FCA some time ago. I won't say how old Rachel is, but she played um, three-pointer for Megan Austin up and in. Austin was six. Rachel played about eight years ago for uh, FCA, Emily played as well. I mean, they had some, some good teams back then, but this is probably the best opponent that they've played. Blair with a three, no good. Sims puts it up, no good, and a foul is on either DeWeese or Austin. Take your pick. And they're gonna be Kirsten. That's her second team's Third, fourth, fourth. They just changed it. You were right when you looked at it. Sims misses the first. Madison Doolittle coming in for uh, Michelle Tedra. Doolittle comes in with two points. Tedra sits down with no points. 
Sim splits the pair. Aaron's got three. Doolittle to Custer. To Austin. Tipped away by Blair. Austin tracks it now. That Aaron Sims for North Catholic is a force in the middle. There's a shot up and missed as Sims might have gotten a piece of it. She goes over the back of Kirsten DeWeese. No call. And you don't get those calls in tournament play. Brown to Blair, fouled by Custer. That would be Leah's first foul, team's fifth. Second, okay. Well, oh, Megan oh, Austin Megan. it is. Huh. The referee was in my... No, I thought it was Leah yeah. Custer as well. De Deweese with the rebound. You and I are seeing the same ball game, my friend. Custer drives baseline, kicks it to Doolittle, to Austin. High post to DeWeese, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound tip, it's off of Emily Sullivan out of bounds. 3.07 to go, third quarter. Winner goes on to Pickerington North for the regional. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Ball knocked out of bounds. Nope. Take that. It's knocked away, and uh, Austin comes down with it. Good save. We had a fan in our way. DeWeese in the corner to Custer. DeWe uh, check that. Austin. Doolittle puts it up. Short. Rebound to Kirsten DeWeese. Side to Emily Sullivan. Megan Austin fakes a three. Leah Custer has it in the corner. Doolittle. DeWeese. North Catholic still in the 3-2 zone. Sullivan bounce pass to DeWeese and she's fouled by Aaron Sims. Sims second. They say it's on the floor, not the shot. Ball goes out to Custer. I don't know. She, yeah, she was in the shooting motion, yeah. but um, what you going to do? Austin for three. Long rebound to Wollenberg, to Brown. Two minutes to go. Third quarter. Brown pushing. Now she'll set it up. Blair works off a Sims pick. Fires a three. No good. Rebound to DeWeese. Kirsten DeWeese with eight rebounds. Only two points tonight, but she's played a good game on the boards. Doolittle drives baseline, puts it up, blocked by Sims. Foul on Sims. That's a shooting foul. Aaron Sims with her third. Madison Doolittle sights it, shoots it, and hits it. Madison with three points. Hit a field goal in the second quarter. Doolittle again, no good. Rebound to Sims. Brown comes across the timeline. Blair goes inside to Sims. Kicks it out to Brown. Puts it up. No good. Rebound up and in. Jill Blackston with nine. She has nine. Wollenberg has ten to lead all scores for Newark Catholic. Leading score for FCA is Megan Austin with six points. Two three-pointers. we got Lauren Blair in the foul. Her first. Team third. 61 seconds to go here, third quarter. Jill. 
Deweese puts it up, no good. Rebound Sullivan, she's bumped, no call. Loose ball on the floor. Newark Catholic comes up with it, Blair. Comes across the timeline, left hand dribble. Double teamed and timeout Newark Catholic. Timeout on the floor, 38.8 seconds to go. Third quarter, 34-16 the score. Newark Catholic up on LSN. The FCA on LSN Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Central Ohio General Surgeons, the physicians who have advanced training that allows them to perform invasive procedures for their patients. At Central Ohio General Surgeons, your appointment includes time for examination and discussion, so please feel free to ask questions at any time. Central Ohio General Surgeons can be contact contacted at 740-654-6213 or online at centralohiogeneralsurgeons.com. 34-16 the score. Blair will inbound in front of the Newark Catholic bench. Brown between the circles. Custer comes out to get her. Now Brown backs off. Brown loses the basketball and it goes FCA's way. Good defense by Leah Custer. They could have called a foul on Lee on that, to be honest, because she bumped uh, Brown. Or at like least it before, looked like it from here. Yeah, like you said before, they're not going to get that in the tournament. No, they're not. Goes both ways. Yep. Custer, nice drive. Pull up jumper. Good. Nice shot. Leah Custer, her first two points of the half. Six seconds to go. 34 18 to score. Blair measures a three, and rims it. No good. Rebound to Deweese, and that's the end of the third quarter. 34 18, North Catholic leads the Lady Knights at the end of three on LSM. FCA on LSN, brought to you in part by... Discover your promise in academics, in athletics, or in theater at Ohio University Lancaster and Pickerington. Online at lancaster.ohiou.edu. Thompson Concrete, a full-service concrete company. Online at thompsonconcrete.com. Roger Weaver and the Weaver Law Offices online at weaver-law.com. Fairfield Christian Church, located near the River Valley Mall in Lancaster, online at fairfieldcc.com. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Quarter action of FCA on LSN is brought to you in part by Fairfield Mini Storage, the place to store your personal or business goods in a clean, dry unit within a gated facility. They have outside storage for RVs and boats, and they are Lancaster Source for Penske truck runners. Fairfield Mini Storage is located at 2230 East Main Street, Lancaster, or you can find them on the web at ffministorage.com. Emily Sullivan steps on the line, where Catholic gets the basketball back. Newark Catholic has had quarters of 11, 11, and 12. Blair bounce pass, the Blacks get up and in. Nice ball movement. Jill Blackston with 11. FCA with quarters of 7, 5, and 6. Ball goes out of bounds off of Doolittle, and it'll go Newark Catholic's way. Now we got. Tedro coming in and Lehman coming in for FCA. Sullivan and Doolittle sit down. The story of the ball game is the Newark Catholic defense. They've been using their size and speed to just wreak havoc on this FCA offense. Sims give and go to Blair, kicks it out to Wollenberg, fires no good. Blackston with the rebound in the corner, and she Grab travels it. with the yeah, basketball. Got a feeling we may be seeing North Catholic in the Final Four. I wouldn't doubt it. They are a great basketball team. Defense! 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 
DeWeese to Lehman, fires a three, rims it no good. Rebound to Newark Catholic, Blackston gives it to Wollenberg, and now Brown breaks the timeline. 6.35 to go. Blair drives baseline, turn around, pass inside, up and in. Joe Blackston with 13. Coach Smith in front of us is on fire. He's coaching as if they're down by 20. Brown blocked, and we got a foul on DeWeese. And the Newark Catholic fans are upset that it wasn't a intentional foul, and it wasn't. Fouls on DeWeese, first and third. Brown doesn't get the shooter's roll. Brown with three points. Good, Jill. Layman misses, rebound. Blackston, Blackston played a great game. Number of rebounds, 13 points. Yeah. Lauren Blair has seven points, but boy, she is so quick. Ball goes inside, blocked by Megan Austin. Fouls on Megan, it's her third. 5.47 to go in the ball game. Joe Blackston line left, shooting two. First one is up and missed it. They've missed a number of foul shots. That's the only weakness in their game tonight. Up, missed them both. Rebound, Wollenberg, but DeWeese tracks it down. Give Kristen the, Kristen the rebound there. She's got 10 rebounds on the night. Austin. Corner to Lehman, drives baseline. DeWeese fires, no good. Rebound, loose in the corner. Tedro tracks it down, stolen by Brown, puts it up and in. Tia Brown with five. 5.15 to go, 41-18 as North Catholic pulling away. DeWeese is fouled on the floor and it might be on Aaron Sims. Nope. It's on Jill Blackson, her first. Team fourth. DeWeese, Custer inside to Austin. Lehman fires a three, back of the rim no good. Rebound to Tedro. FCA, they're gonna be losing Megan Austin and uh, there's Custer inside, puts it up and no good. Rebound to Wollenberg. FCA will be losing some seniors off this year's team. Megan Austin, Christian DeWeese, Katie Lehman, Lexi Cummings. Am I missing anybody else? I don't Is think it? so. But uh, they got some, oh, there's Blair with a three, a long three. Lauren Blair with 10 points on the night. Timeout on the floor, Newark Catholic. 4.32 to go in the ball game. 44-18 the score. I was talking about, um, let's just talk about Ohio Christian University in a minute, but the FCA's got some nice freshmen coming up, don't they? They do, uh, Rochelle Tedro, Leah Custer, obviously, and uh, Madison Doolittle. Madison Doolittle. They That's got right. some, some youth to build around. That's right. So go ahead, tell our friends at home about our friends out in Circleville. All right, Ohio Christian University is a sponsor of tonight's ball game. They're committed to offering a complete education that develops students intellectually, professionally, and spiritually. OCU's degree programs equip students to become leaders in their careers, communities, families, and the world. Ohio Christian University, online at ohiochristian.edu. 4.32 to go in the ball game, 44-18 the score. This will be our last basketball broadcast of the season. We're gonna try to bring you a baseball and softball game if we can uh, for 
the spring sports. Jared, why don't you thank the good folks who came up on the drive during some nasty weather. Our students tonight here. We got uh, Jovi Gall on camera. Um, Caleb Kander on camera. Kenny Bircham on camera. And Andrew Lundell on camera. And Josh Hamill back on switcher. Nathan Sharp on graphics. And JT Bircham the FCA media teacher. And of course, we have your golden tones to listen to. We're going to miss you next year. Do I get to pick my replacement? Only if you tell us where you're going to school. Right. You have a college announcement? Not yet. <laughs> Four minutes to go in the ball game. 44-18 to score. Brown with Custer on her. Blair drives baseline and goes out of bounds. It'll be off DeWeese. Another sponsor for tonight's ball game is Spires Paving Company, serving Lancaster and Fairfield County since 1984. They're a full service pavement and pavement services company providing asphalt paving, patching and repairing, crack filling and stripping for residential, commercial, churches and local municipalities. Spires Pav Paving Company can be contacted at 740-653-6837 or online at spirespaving.com. Blair missed a shot. Rebound goes to DeWeese. Custer drives baseline. Tries to get it to DeWeese. Stolen by Wollenberg. Brown stolen by DeWeese. Two on one. Got Custer. Nice pass. Puts it up and in a foul. Great play by Christian DeWeese on that bounce pass to Leah Custer. Put the ball up in that's an unselfish play there. Mm -hmm. Leah with nine, looking for 10. Taylor Truesdale checking in the ball game for Rochelle Tedra. Custer, line right. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. She hits it. She's got 10. She's in double figures. Leads FCA in scoring. Jill Blackston leads York Catholic in scoring with 13. Carolyn Wollenberg with 10. And Lauren Blair with 10. Lexi Cummings checks into the ball game. One of the seniors for FCA. Blair in the corner with Sims. Ball loose, DeWeese has it to Megan Austin. Lehman to DeWeese, knocked away. Travel with the basketball, and the ball goes which way? Goes to FCA's way? Looks like it. Megan Austin will take it out. Wolvenberg. Blair and Brown sit down as Newark Catholic rests some of their seniors as they prepare. They will prepare for the regional action at Pickerington North next week. DeWeese, Truesdale, Austin to Lehman. Back to Austin. 2.15 remaining. Austin puts it up, no good. Rebound to Mackenzie Clark. And Wagner with the basketball. And there's a foul on FCA's who? Megan Austin. <laughs> Megan Austin, her fourth. Put the, it'll put Newark Catholic in the bonus. Now we got Lydia Wygant coming in. Aaron Sims sits down for Newark Catholic along with Joe Blackston. Both coaches now clearing the bench. Lydia Wygan in. First shot up and in. <laughs> Haley Wagner with her first point of the night. Up again, good again. Wagner with two. I want to remind you that an intimate and hope-filled night of music, testimony, and worship with audio adrenaline will take place Sunday, March 18th at Fairfield Christian Church. Call the church for more information. 
Under two minutes to go in FCA season. Susanna Rao getting ready to check in for FCA. And Austin with the foul. Megan Austin fouls out in her last game as a FCA Lady Knight. And Megan played a great game. Six points. In comes Susanna Rao for Megan Austin. Gets a standing ovation from the bench and from the fans on the far side of FCA. Rebound loose. Cap Vick gets it. Ball goes to Sarah Vick, or Sarah Vin. And guess who's got the rebound? DeWeese to Cummings. Back to DeWeese. Drives the lane, puts it up, and no good, but a foul. Casey Hill getting ready to check in for FCA. And they're not calling a shooting foul on that. And Kristen DeWeese sits down with two points and 12 rebounds. And I don't understand that call. I, it's I'll, not be, me. I, I'll be I, I blunt. I, that, I, that's a terrible call this late in the ball game. I mean, you got to be consistent. But shoot. Yep. Casey Hill with her first point of the ball game, points of the ball game. How you can shoot the ball and not get a foul is beyond me. Yeah, there have been a couple of those calls here in this ball game, but, you know, nothing we can do about it. Lexi Cummings with the rebound, gets it up to Rao to Truesdale, goes off her hands out about 52.3 seconds to go. Wagner sits down for Newark Catholic. And we got Maggie Lehman in with the basketball. And a travel call goes FCA's way. I like that call. Well, that was a good call. Yeah, it was. So Newark Catholic has doubled up FCA here in the fourth quarter. Truesdale with the basketball to Rao, to Cummings. Casey Hill off her hands. Rao fights for the basketball. Truesdale gets it to Wygant off her hands out of bounds. 27.1 ticks on the clock. York Catholic will play at Pickerington North in the regionals coming up, and we wish them the best. They will go to 23-1 on the season. FCA will go to 16 and seven. And that is, a, I'll tell you, that's a great season for FCA. Very well. Very good. Newark Catholic inbounds. 10 seconds. Layman with the basketball. I'll let you bring it home. That's the ball game. Final score, Newark Catholic beats FCA by a score of 46 to 23. Final thoughts. Well, obviously, the better team, Newark Catholic, you know, first in the district, third in the state. Uh, nice, I was very impressed in the opening quarter being able to uh, hang with them, but you know, just the speed and the size and the tenacious defense was just too much for FCA. Great season for the Lady Knights, 16 and 7. You know, they won't go on, but this will be a season to remember for these seniors. Great leadership by Kirsten DeWeese, Megan Austin, and uh, Katie Lehman, Lexi Cummings. Um, and we expect big things from the Lady Knights in coming years. There's Leah Custer coming up, Rochelle Tedrow, Madison Doolittle. So you might see the Knights back here in a few years. We can only hope. Why don't you thank our um, good people who came up to help tonight. Absolutely. On camera we have Andrew Lundell, Caleb Kandra, Kenny Burcham, and Joey Gall. And behind the scenes on Switcher we have Joshua Hamill. And on graphics, Nathan Sharp, and a big thanks to 
Mr. J.T. Burcham, the media teacher for Fairfield Christian. A big thanks to you, Jared, for putting up with me for uh, these two past two seasons, football and basketball. It's been fun. It's been, been a blast. I've loved every minute of it. And I hope we get to do some baseball and softball. We will try. So for Jared Kemp, this is Jack Davidson. Thank you for watching FCA Sports on LSN. Till next time, final score. Your Catholic moves on, beating FCA by score 46-23. Have a good night, everybody. FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSN. Thanks for watching FCA on LSM.